Hi, so good to see you again. Welcome back to my shed and the next stage of my reloading journey. This week I've got the expert guidance of my friend and target shooter, Stuart Anselm. Hi Stuart. Hi Rosie, good to see you. Good to see you, thank you for coming. So, reloading, are you a fan of loading yourself? Absolutely, in fact, in long range target shooting it's, it's essential. The ability to custom load your ammunition to your rifle gives you far better results in the long term. Okay, well it's perfect timing because I've just finished priming my cases. Um, maybe you can give me a few tips on load development? No problem. Well, a good place to start is the Hornsey Reloading Manual. It'll give you good pointers on where to begin your load development. What bullets are we using today? We are using Horner D200 grain ELDX. Okay, let's have a look then. Okay, the 200 grains. It says here that a suitable powder for us would be the IMR4166. Okay. So let me go and get some of that. Um, so what's the best way to work out how much powder we'd need? Okay, well, loading manuals like this, they'll always come with a minimum and a maximum load. Start somewhere just off the minimum, but mm -hmm. never exceed the maximum. I always recommend, in something like a 308, going up in half grain increments. That way you can test each load to find its suitability until you reach that maximum, but okay. don't exceed that. And of course, when you do load, don't get them mixed up. Yep. Make sure they're done in order. So when I've seen it done before, we've used the powder throw, a manual trickler like this and a beam scale, but I've heard that the auto charge is way quicker. I've never used one, can you show me? Absolutely. The auto charge actually does all three in one. It'll throw the powder, it'll trickle it and it'll weigh it at the same time. Okay. So they're actually quite delicate instruments, so just a few hints and tips on, on using them. I see you've already got it switched on. Yeah. They do like to warm up, so it always should be turned on for at least half an hour. I actually leave mine on most of the time so that it's, it's ready mm -hmm. to go. Uh, second thing, we've all done it. This is what you use to empty it. Before you fill it with powder, make, make sure, sure that's on, otherwise it'll be everywhere. So if you could uh, fill the hopper for me with yes. the powder we've chosen. Fantastic, that should be plenty for what we need today. It has a windshield. We don't need this because your reloading shed is, uh, is perfectly uh, still. It's if you're re reloading outdoors, you may need that. Mm -hmm. When you filled it, it's put a few grains in here, but we can put them back in the hopper. The other thing with these, they don't like being near fluorescent lights and mobile phones. So I'll turn my mobile phone off because you don't want it right. upsetting the weights. Yep. They are quite sensitive and you can tell when the text comes through okay. because it throws the powder everywhere. Okay, so we looked in the book and we said we're going to start at 36 grains. Yes. So if you'd like to type in 36. Yeah. So it's saying a target, uh, target weight of 36 grains. When you press the dispense key on the bottom right, it should start throwing the powder for us, which is doing the main job. So that's doing the main throw yeah. that you would do with your manual Watches, powder yeah. throw. Uh, when it gets somewhere near the weight, it will slow down and it will start to do the job of the trickler. Right. But all at the same time, it's doing the job of the electronic scales. 36, exactly. Perfect. So your, your purse powder charge is uh, ready to throw. So if you... Okay. So pour this in here. That's it. Okay, just a little tap to make sure it's all in. Yeah. And you're good to go. And if you place the pan back on the scale, you'll see it's ready to go again. Amazing, I'll be done in no time. So Rosie, I notice you're not using a reloading logbook. No, I don't have one. Well, you should. It's good practice really. As well as recording the powder charges that you're using, you need to put other information in there, such as bullet seating depth, overall mm -hmm. car, uh, case length, also the powder batch numbers and primers that you've used. All of these things have a bearing on the load and one day you may want to refer back to that. Right. So if I give you any advice, I would say take notes and put them down in a log where you can find them in the future. Okay. That's about it for today, Stuart, but I've learned so much. Thank you for taking the time to hang out with me in my shed. Thank you for having me. And as for you, I hope you've been taking notes. If you've got any questions or if you'd like a reloading with Rosie logbook of your own, head to the Edgar Brothers website. <laughs>